They have the same basic needs. They need food, water, shelter, and of course, love. Bow to Wow's focus is on finding homes for abandoned pets, and this week we are meeting a few of them that need a home. Take a look. McPuffin came in, was a mess. She had an underbite, her teeth were terrible, and she had the sniffles. So those upper respiratory things, they take time and they just need a little bit of rest and no stress. We did her teeth, we cleaned her up. Becky is just wonderful at companions grooming that she can really take these dogs and turn them into something that you'd really say, wow. She really helps us out with these, these type of dogs. They really just need cosmetic help. Now how does she look? She, she is incredible. She just wows you. We know that McPuffin will be one of those who's, once, once she wows everyone with not only her looks, but her charm, she's going to find a great family soon. When Nathan first came to us, he had a really large abscess on the right side of his face. He had some very sharp cuts that looked like he may have gotten caught up in a fence or uh, was trying to escape from, from something. He was skinny, hungry. He was in pretty bad shape. It took several weeks for the infection to completely clear. Once the swelling started going down in his face, he felt tremendously better. And he's back to just being a normal, happy little puppy. He's a bouncy, silly, uh, going to be huge uh, little puppy. When he first came in, he had a bone sticking out of his foot. And on top of that, it actually, the foot that what the bone was sticking out of, um, it was a club foot. After the medical problems got resolved, the medical team actually approached the behavior department and said, this guy needs some help. He was scared of me. He did not trust me. The first four or five times we took him outside, um, he just wanted to escape. He would run into a corner and sit down. I wondered if anybody was home. It was, he didn't move. Everybody, the world went by and he just didn't move. He was a statue. And now, when you see him in playgroup, when you see him running around, he's a dog. He wags his tail, his body moves, he's relaxed. His foot is healing beautifully. He has his cast off. He's met some dogs that he likes, that has, that has made him confident and actually feel safe in our environment here. He's not 100% yet, but every single day we see progress with him. Oh my God! Sweet baby, there's Nathan, oh. folks. So, uh, Erica Beck with Corin Keeper, uh, ladies, how can we get these animals forever homes? I know that this one already spoken for. McPuffin, somebody here already has called already and put spoken. a hold they on her. Already spoken. They go that so, fast. Yeah. <laughs> That's how fast they go. And Nathan, Igor's not going to be available for probably another week. He just needs a little bit more time. Okay. okay. Nathan's available today, so call or look on our website, sfhumanesociety.org. He's going to be a big dog. Yeah, he oh, sure he's going to be huge. So, so we've got a big event coming up in December. Uh, uh, the Bark and Ball, which Brittany and I are going to be part of. Yeah, Very you're going to be our glorious host. That's yes. right. So tell us a little bit about this. What's going on and how we can get tickets for it? Yeah, the Bark and Ball is December 13th mm -hmm. at the Santa Fe Convention mm -hmm. Center. And um, it's our annual fundraiser. This year we're bringing it up a notch because it's our 75th anniversary. Mm -hmm. Cool. And so we have a live auction, a silent auction, and uh, there's a uh, champagne toast courtesy of Rancho de Chavez. Okay. And um, music by Katie Bow. So it's going to be a real celebratory event. That's yeah. great. Yeah, She's you fantastic. can get tickets on uh, barkingball.org. Okay. And we're about uh, three quarters of the way sold out right now. So you really? want to get your tickets fast. Okay, yeah, yeah you're getting moving on it. So you guys just got a $50,000 grant. Tell us about that. We are really grateful and thankful for everyone who gave. We raised, in just four weeks, we raised over $130,000. That's great. Which oh means we gosh. get 50000 on top of that. And all of that goes to the behavior department to help more dogs. So wow. thank you, so everyone, fantastic. for giving. That's incredible. Oh, Nathan's very happy about yeah. that. <laughs> all right, guys, if you want more information on how you can give these dogs forever homes, head over to casa.com and click on the Style tab. We'll